Hi everyone, my name is Blake Bejarano, and today I'm going to show you how to access GPUs through the CoCalc platform. You can see I'm at CoCalc.com. I'm going to head over to my projects. Now I can select the project that I'd like to work inside of or create a new one. Here I'm going to go ahead and click on my project. This is my file system. I'd like to spin up a GPU, so to do that I'm going to head over to the servers button located on the left hand side in the action bar. Click on that. Make sure that the Compute Servers tab is selected, and then I can click on Create a Compute Server. And this dropdown will allow me to select between Google Cloud or HyperStack if I want to use the CoCalc API in our relationship with the cloud providers, or I could use my own on-premises resources like a local laptop or server. You could even use an AWS console, etc., um, by spinning up a virtual machine, copy and pasting a single line of code into your terminal, and then you can allocate those resources directly to your CoCalc instance all via WebSocket and collaboratively utilize those resources with your colleagues. Um, but today, I want to focus on HyperStack since we're an official partner and we have some really great pricing for GPUs um, with non-spot instances. So here you can see H100s currently cost $3.63 an hour, and this is all metered per second, so you can stop or suspend your instance at any time. And you can see that there are currently 236 that are available in Canada, um, each with 80 gigs of RAM. A100s are also available, L40s all the way down to RTX A4000s. And then you can select the Docker image that you'd like to run in that compute server. So PyTorch, TensorFlow, Google Colab, Llama, CUDA, and Jax are all immediately available with the click of a button. And then you could go ahead and click on Start Compute Server. And in my next video, I will show you how to connect that server to your Jupyter Notebook or terminal. That way you can run remotely on that machine rather than on shared resources through the CoCalc interface. But that's a quick tip and trick on using the CoCalc UI. Please like, subscribe, and follow for more, and I will see you next time. Thanks again.